Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Alright, ready? Shall we just begin? Okay. I was waiting for just one more. Ready, Mr. Rizal? Alright, come on. Come on, let's get this begin. Alright. So you recorded one. Yeah, that's you for you for for you too. Alright. So good morning everybody. Uh oh. <clears throat> uh, first things first, I guess. Well, welcome back. <laughs> we took a week off from yesterday, uh, last week, right? But uh, we're here now. We have a special guest. It's a nice paper. <laughs> but uh, I did. I was hoping for Miss Urbina to show up. She should be in in a second. But let me let me introduce what I wanted to speak about with her here. Let me show walk in as we're talking. Uh, if you look at this page, the spreadsheet page. This is just uh, a heads up on what's happening with pre-registration. She was letting me know that she was at a meeting with the uh, counselors and the principals, right? And so what they're looking at are pre-registration and how it gets done. I, I added on here, so what this is, is when students pre-register, it's right here. When students pre-register coming in their freshman year, this is what they see. Right, and then when they come in for their sophomore year, this is what they see. And there's an there's a regular high school registration form, and there's an early college registration form. So these are the classes that they see. I don't know. Maybe you've seen this registration before, but I hadn't really seen it. I condensed it onto one sheet so we could focus on just the math offerings. Uh, and then I went ahead and included some class counts that I was able to get from DMAC. I'm missing two classes down here. Um, yeah, so these were some of the class counts that I was able to pull out of DMAC myself. And, uh, well, just a heads up to keep this in mind. And for next year, uh, this is what I used. These are the student counts that I began with. What I consider our best scheduling year was last year. That we kind of were really efficient with what we did. We got to start from backwards from the student counts, right? So that's, is that the that's current what I, I student counts? Yeah, this is more or less. I, I got it off of DMAC last night, so whatever Are you DMAC sure gave me. Because I have 166 just by myself. Oh, and yeah, you have them all. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, because, yeah, that's about right. Because Alondra, even Alondra had uh, DMAC. She might still be missing, though, because I don't know if she has exactly if she had. I can see right here. What's total? 173. 173, and I have 166 Did by myself. Have, yeah, Alondra does have classes too, so this is pretty but accurate. But not geometry. Oh, there's no geometry. Yeah, you're right. So it is just you. Geometry and honors, and then... Are you counting the honors There's separately? a few. They're separate, yeah. Okay. I am counting them separately. So okay. geometry, honors are down here. Geometry, okay, so high school's here. Okay. And then geometry, or the college is down here. Yeah, so there's the three honors. geometry classes. Okay. Um, gotcha. I guess uh, my only idea behind this was... Let's not spread ourselves too thin when we start offering again the, the senior classes. I know that can get a little funny. Uh, and one thing we were going to talk about was the dual enrollment. Um, if anybody here has a master's degree, um, we were looking for the dual enrollment courses, offering of the dual enrollment oh, wow. course. We might, we might ask for your assistance in that respect, right? So if, if that can happen, we're looking forward to it. Um, would you like to take that on, Mr. Galva? Yeah, I talked to Palacios about it. He said he was working on it. Oh, nice. You okay. Very good, very good. Um, so that's where we're at. We're just kind of like preparing us for pre-registration. We want to have it done by December this year and moving on from there. That's basically it. Uh, next on the list, any questions on this? Any comments? Anything that we should look at for registration? I know it's something that we don't have a big hand in, but we should be prepared for what's coming, right? I know this year we had a, a smaller hand in it than before, but we can start looking at it this way. I think you should let the teachers know that what they recommend for their students. Yeah, yeah we are going to go through it that way. Good point. Um, so, especially the sophomore teachers, they're the ones that have to sign off on what the students will take junior year, and that's where we really got to align ourselves to you know, place them accurately. Some of us from freshman year, we know who's going to land where, but what do you mean we're like, well, like, place them accurately? Well, because because we're going to place them. Yeah, yes, yes, because that would be more, yes. more uh, you know the kid better than anybody else in the school about your the subject you're teaching and what they would like to approach. You met them one-on-one, -on -one, you have that 
we have to consider if they're gonna uh, if they're gonna take the pre calculus track or they're gonna go AR mm -hmm. or if they uh, have failed the test. You know, if they still need the start test, they need to take AQR or geometry or whatever we're offering. Maybe a stack class next year if we're offering it that might come back. So they're not gonna they're not gonna pick. They're not gonna they're not going to choose. They, they will choose, but you'll be there to sign off after they choose. The idea is that they should fill out this form, and then you will look to see student by student that they are in the right math class. It's basically, they're gonna, that's the idea. That's what it's that's what it's and, like. and then if I say they're in the wrong math class, mm -hmm. and then the student's like, no, I'm in the right math class, <laughs> then what happens? Yeah, that's or like, you, I think what about like, I think you know, for honors and they're like, no, yeah, I want to take honors. I think you know best. I think you know best. You would have that discussion with them. That's I mean, I, I don't know where that would come up, but like, there's some classes that they have to take if they haven't passed the start test. They're they're locked into certain tracks, right? If the student feels like, if you feel like a student can take a calculus class, let them try <coughs> for calculus. I mean, I don't see, right? You know what I mean? So what but saying, unless what? In, yeah. It sounds like you're saying if we know the student's ability, <clears throat> it would be beneficial for us to encourage them. To challenge themselves yes. for mm -hmm. a more advanced class. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then a more advanced topic on that would be to only recommend those that can handle it because then we get those that move out of those classes and, and then jump into and again. then cause schedule issues. So let's be accurate with our estimates on them and give them a good class. Like let's let them stick around. Yes. Yeah, but you need to talk also to the counselors so they motivate the students to get those classes because exactly. we encouraged them last year. I have students that can take. AP calculus, but they told them they, they don't need it. So you oh, need to talk to yeah, the counselors. Oh, yeah, that also happens. They need to motivate the student, not to tell it. Oh, no, this, uh, you don't need that. Yeah, that also happens. Right, like we have this and that. We have a lot of AP calculus. We've got to be done with four math yeah. classes this year. She's going to walk into the counselor's office, and if someone even hints to her she doesn't that she doesn't need to take another math class, she's not going to do it. Because mm -hmm. well, somebody has to tell her that, but if nobody tells mm -hmm. her that, yeah, that's going to come down to math class. To she us. doesn't even know it. And yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. because to her, it's a four-year math, not a fifth time I'm taking math. But if one person tells her, you know her, I know her, mm -hmm. she's not going to take a fifth math. Yeah. yeah. So those things hopefully will handle this month. They're doing pre-registrations this month, <clears throat> like by the before we get out for holidays. So then. We need to be on top of our students and let them know. I guess whenever they come around, I don't think they'll come around to our classes, but the signature page should. So that's uh, something for Miss Urbina when she comes in. She'll let us know more of those details. Do you know anything about that? No, 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 no that's fine. Um, okay, so that's where we stand right now, and then just be aware that that's happening, right? We want to prepare and fix this. Okay. Underlining issue, I think it's a foundational issue with the scheduling. We know it, that it's always been an issue. We had one good year that we felt, I think, more complete with our scheduling, but, but there, there we are. Um, scouting report. So let me talk about that one. Do you mind if I share yes. when I was there, when oh, we, yes, when we sure. stepped in? Yeah, okay. welcome to. Okay. Yes. So on the scouting reports, I would like us to continue with that. And, um, and oh, and I've included a link here. So I, I had misplace the link right so if you just go to the scanner report here you can click the blue link and you can fill out the form when you visit somebody's classroom I do want to comment on me observing Mr. Esparza he was kind enough to cover for me when I had to step out on Thursday last week during the blitz and it was great I got to see what he what he was offering uh, we had that packet for the blitz that, that that he created and he helped us out with and I appreciated him teaching it um, one thing that he can keep, right? One thing that he would keep is the humor. <laughs> I like the humor. It kept the kids engaged. It kept them active. And uh, I did notice that. I did take that as, as some notes, right? Um, I did appreciate it. And and obviously everybody's humor in the classroom, everybody's attempt, uh, grabs for attention is different, right? It's unique to themselves. So, but, but I, you know, you had it. You, you had them. You had them attentive and all of that. I. I with that, with those kids in the room, I know those kids in the room, and I was like, okay, well, something's going on here. I liked it. Something that I would take with me is there was an extreme lack of deficit thinking, meaning that Mr. Esparza held the bar really high. 
So in questions where I personally think that I would have jumped straight to a calculator, obviously for start testing, you know, you think like that, you think just go to the calculator, you're not gonna be able to do it. That was a note of deficit thinking that I had personally in my head. The Mr. Espasa was having these kids do mentally, mental math. These questions were handled mentally and the kids were participating with it. I know them, right? <laughs> so that's one thing that I wanted to note on that. And if we can try to manage to observe once, maybe by the end of December, I know we're a little bit chaotic right now. Just if you can walk in somebody's room 10 minutes, if you need to find some substitution, uh, somebody to substitute or hold your, your class for a little bit, I'm more than willing to jump in or figure something out. I know we're all busy, right? But just let us know and we'll figure out a quick fill in just so we can start growing some of this data. Like keeping the take are the ones that I want to kind of throw out there. Um, I did appreciate that fact, and I think that's a good piece of data to hold on to. Um, and they're just, you know, that's basically it. Uh, I don't think anybody's had a chance yet. I know things are always pretty crazy, but if you do need to, just text me. We'll figure out something. Mr. Palacios is more than enough willing to find us a, a substitute for the meantime, for just the class period. He might even, he said that he could jump in for a little bit if he needed to, but this, could be pretty fun. I think I think it's on the right track to just more cohesiveness in the classrooms and all that. Um, anyway, any questions on the scattering reports, <laughs> the new uh, program that we have? We also have Mr. Romero coming in with his own project, and he will begin talking about my turn. Yeah. All right. Um, mentorship. Hello. Thank you guys for taking my. Uh, for giving your time for this. But this is a project I want to start. I, uh, I did an action research uh, during my, uh, my, my master's program. And uh, one of the things that, you know, I love kids and so one of the, my, my things, my concerns are the kids that are being absent all the time, troublemakers or what you, whatever the case may be. But we don't know the reason why these things are happening. Why do they have low grades and things like that? So this is uh, kind of what, uh, my project led, uh, led to, right? So um, we want to target kids that are, uh, I want to have, a, I want to come up with a mentoring program to where we can help out the kids that are, that are here, but are skipping class, they have low grades, they have discipline problems or other. They might have uh, other issues that we don't know about, but I'll, I'll call them capable performers, right? Because they're here, they want to, they want to do well, but they don't have that mentoring program. You, um, when you, in the study shows that they don't have that conversation at home. That that's what I, my questionnaires came up and, and they 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 mentioned to me in focus groups or in, in surveys that they they do not have conversation at home. Parents some of the times they think they do have conversations at home with them, but the kids are saying no, we don't. I mean, my mom doesn't know. They don't know the, what to do for them to succeed or to go to college and simple things like that. So the idea behind the, pro, the program is to select two, two to four students that you feel you know, will benefit from you through conversation, through advice, through high expectations that you set up for them, through guidance or any other things that you feel that you may make these kids successful. Again, you're going to target the kids that are the troublemakers. Remember, these are the kids that you know we're going to identify i'm going to explain it on the back it's going to be how we're going to end up doing it but um we're only you're only going to get two kids two four kids if you want to double the, the satisfaction that it's going to give you you can pick four if you want to try it out maybe one or two kids is fine but you want to get these kids to you want to mentor these kids and get them just and it's going to be a simple process right the beneficiaries we imagine imagine the impact it will have on on the students on the teachers, most of them. So you being there, they don't have this conversation at home. So my idea is to bring this conversation to them. Substitutes, please report to B2 to get your rosters. Again, substitutes, please report to B2 for your rosters. Thank you. So, so um, again, since they don't have the conversation, since they don't have the conversation at home, since they don't have the uh, guidance, we give it to them. Right? But again, no one's going to know about uh, what's going on, just you and, and, your, and your mentee, right? So um, imagine, again, 
the impact. Um, at least I was saying, I was talking about the mentoring program that I want to start here. All right, and what's the cost? The cost is a lot. The cost is your time. That's going to cost it. I mean, your time is the most valuable. It's a huge sacrifice. But it doesn't have to be, it's going to be in there in your own terms. All right? Five, ten minutes. And, but that's about it. I mean, if we can, the meetings, maybe I'll have a meeting with you. Not too long. I just want to, I'm just going to go check up on, hey, how is this person doing? And I, I, the person that comes to mind is Juan, Chris. Those are the ones that probably I'm going to pick, right? And we're going to do a selection process later on. And these are kids that are walking around. These are the kids that are here but just need that extra. Maybe one, I mean, that's just the most, that's probably going to be the cost for you, right? Money, I mean, it's optional. If you want to buy them a drink, if you buy one of you don't have to spend any money, right? Unless you want to give them a little something. But then it's going to be awkward that you're going to have a meeting with them, giving them, then you're going to bring them a Coke. Or I don't want it to feel that you have to do any of that. All I want them to have is that advice. You know how to do it. You've done it before. But I want to this time. And it's funny because right now that you guys were saying everything about um, that was going on, you mentioned Odalis. Odalis, now I know because I got a little note and I it didn't have a name. And it was an anonymous note. And thank you for her. And I have a feeling it was her because she had for recommend, re recommending me to take, to double, double take, uh, the, Double up on ma in math. Uh, and now that you mentioned that, it might have been hers, because I don't know who, who gave me that little note, that left that note for, for me, you know. Uh, another, um, another example that I want to tell you uh, about this program is uh, Jaime and I met with Miss Cass, and I was mentioning the program to her. And uh, we went to go get Daisy. Daisy was in the hall, skip, skipping, right? And I bring her in, and I... And I prove what it does. And Daisy comes in and I, and I ask Daisy, hey Daisy, so who do you work for? You know? And these are things today that I would wanna have trainings on because I'm not an expert. And you're not an expert either, but the advice goes a long way. And this is all I said, hey, who do you work for? And she's over here like, I don't work for anybody. Who do you work for? And I ask her again, who do you work for? I don't work for anybody. And she's feeling kind of awkward. When she starts feeling awkward, then I, boom, that's when I throw it at her. You're working for, your future for your kids. You're, you're working for your kids. Everything you do right now, don't, and she has a baby. Don't you have a baby? And I said, yes. Don't you have a baby? Don't you want the best for, her, for him? Yes. And then little things like that, you get to know the kid. You probably did not know she had a baby, right? A lot of you did, but a lot of you did not. But just her, like, she just changed, and she was like, I want you to start thinking of passing your TSI, getting your foot into college, one foot into college. When you graduate, if you take one class and you graduate, you're gonna be out the door and you're gonna have one college class and you're gonna say, you know what, I already started, might as well continue. As soon as that conversation, her, everything changed. It was like a 180, right? Um, she comes out and then she comes and reaches out to me and says, sir, can I have my grades? You know, that was her. And then I, I go to Alondra and I say, well, hopefully I can invest on Alondra later. <laughs> so it's, because I want females with females and males with males, right? And hopefully if I can buy it, uh, I, I'll ask Alondra to, hey, maybe we, Alondra's a teacher, right? And I ask, who's your math teacher? And I want to start it off with a math, pro, with math teacher, maybe, right? And, and I ask Alondra, can you give her her grades? And I'm going to uh, check up on it and see how it's going. But anyways, that's, that's, all it, it, that's all I wanted to mention. And then again, there's no compensation. I'm sorry, but it's just a, a uh, and maybe in the future, future plans would be maybe if it works out, we have good stories, we have uh, things going well, maybe we can, uh, um, Ron can help us write a grant. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Ron, maybe. <laughs> and hopefully, and, 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 and impact more kids, right? <laughs> okay, in the back, I have a few things, right? In the back, I have the uh, kind of like a, a mentoring program. So the first th step would be maybe, and these all say one month, one month, so don't think it's three months total, but it would be within the month, hopefully, but it would be to identify the mentors, maybe whoever volunteers, and I want people who want to do it. It's not, it's not gonna be forced on anyone. It's only those that wanna impact it. You know what, you know what, I mean, I wanna, can I target her, can I target him, can I, can I be my, my mentee? And then, boom, I'll write them down with target. Do you know about some of those kids? But we have to identify what kids we're going to target, right? 
So we want to, uh, who's going to identify them? It's going to be the, hopefully me, the teachers, the counselors, anybody who knows of kids that need this mentor work, right? And then we're going to pair them up. We have to. And that would be ideal. Um, and then we're going to develop a mentoring program training. So, like I said, what works do we want to say? What do we not want to say? So little things like that. We want to. We need to have a training, and we can ask for professional development. And then we're going to implement it, and then I think we're going to go and go through it, right? And if we have to make adjustments, we will. Now, yes, go ahead. Is this is this uh, coinciding with or uh, like um, supplementing like a student mentoring program that already exists? We, I don't know of any uh, student mentoring program. Right I now. used to. We, we did that back in like middle school, high school mm -hmm. stuff. So. So no, no, I don't, I don't see any program here in, in the school. But you see, a lot of the mentoring programs already, they mentor the kids that are bubble kids. They'll mentor the kids that are going to college. Or, I want to mentor the lower, the bottom, the bottom of the, but they're here. But they're here in school. Let's start with them because why are they here? They're here because they do want it. But you see, and, I, and when we did the studies, like uh, the parent conversation, yo mando a mi hijo. Y yo, la ahí en la escuela se encargan de esto. You know? And it's true. They, they drop them off and, and they leave it up to us to make sure that this kid is getting educated and, and we're serving them well. And do we? You know? And if, if they don't have that conversation, if they don't have that guidance, they're just going to go and go through the pipeline, like I said. Just a little guidance. I think eventually it would be nice to get like the student organizations involved, like especially the upper level kids, mm -hmm. the NHS, student council, human services, where they pick, mm -hmm. and we have like this list and they sponsor a kid throughout the year. Mm -hmm. no, no. like I saw that with Haiti. So mm -hmm. Haiti's in uh, Gover Game, never been in Gover Game. And like one of the girls that had been there for a long time, like, mentored her mm -hmm. just in that and that helped her a lot I think mm -hmm. like not feel like an old you know an outsider so that, that's something yeah suggest to the leaders and, and I would love that that's eventually what I would love for it to do the thing is that are they gonna be how, how are they gonna be with kids are they gonna be receptive to the to a kid a student student that's my only issue, but I do want eventually that to happen because there's a lot of great kids, and I do want them to look up to other kids, uh, especially if they if they want to join UIL, they want to join sports, you know, they want to join uh, other extracurricular activities. Yes, sir. Are we going to be able if we volunteer? Are we going to be able to um, take them on some field trips? You see. Show them yeah, that the, would be the community. What the possibilities are in the future? Oh, that would be a, that would be. You see, the best well, thing to do with these kids is to yes. um, to, to, be, to be the ghost of Christmas. Come to them. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to show them the reality of the future of what they can possibly get. Take them to like a real rich neighborhood and uh, take them inside a house. So you have a, you know, you have where ideas. they can go inside of a house and see everything and tell them, you know, you can have all this awesome. if you want. And then That's take awesome. them to like the, the real bad shacks in La Jolla <laughs> and then show them oh, where yeah. you can have this. It, it's all up to you. <laughs> it was and right. that'll, that's a, that's a field trip that'll really hit them in the heart and make them understand. All right. And they can change the way. Right. I'm sorry. I, I know we don't have we have we have a little That's bit fine. of time. So what I want in the back, I, I left you for four questions because I do again. This is a, a a new program that I would love to start. I would love to start. And again, we usually talk about kids, but what do we do for them, right? So let me know what questions, what things can arise, anything that comes up. Please, please. Give me a question. Give so me can ideas. You, can you take on field trips, yes or no? I, I would put it. I think uh, I'm going to bring it up to Mr. Valdez and, okay. and say things like that. I mean, All that right. would be, I would definitely put that one in there. Mm -hmm. okay. Are there any other questions? Okay, I know that we have other things to cover, so thank yeah. you. Right. Thank you, Mr. Romero. Um, and then last but not least, uh, we'll end it with Mr. Palacios was asking us to decide how we're going to do a gift exchange, if it's going to happen this year at all. 
what do we think about okay. that? And he was asking, these places are in Westlaco. He would like us to meet outside, you know, outside of work. Oh, nice. In Westlaco, go there 5.30 to 7, pick a date. Um, we talk about this over text or decide now. There's most of the majority of us are I'm here. In, I'm in for it. <laughs> I'm up for it, yeah. And then we do like a secret Santa type of yes. thing. Like a secret Santa. Or white elephant. I mean, yeah. yeah. white elephant. Yeah. Just bring it back. Just bring it back. Yeah, I'm into. I'm and in. can we do it that Friday? Did we get early early release? Because don't we get released at noon? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. we can yeah. release at 2 o'clock. We can release at 2. Two. Yeah. Can we meet there like at 2? And then we can change the time. 2.30 that Friday? That way? Possibly. That would be good. That's possibly. I think it might be a little packed out there. Some people also right? start their travels that yes. day. Yeah. So I would say yeah. maybe even the weekend before. Like, a, be like so next week? Well, yeah. I'm just suggesting because yeah. usually that Friday people take the day off, they, they leave, mm -hmm. they have trips, they yeah, have kids. Kind of, to it's do. close to the wire. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it is, it is pretty I close. Would, I would yeah. We're on 22nd. Yeah. That Friday is the 22nd. There's going to yeah. be a lot of shoppers mm -hmm. out there. I think I so. do. I'm okay with the 15 and then the following Monday to Wednesday. So, um, that's me personally. I'm just throwing up dates. Yeah. So they like the 15th or the next like week? Like Tuesday, next Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Next Friday, then 18th through 20th. Yeah. Or you want to do on Sunday? Or 18th through 20th. Either way, any time before the last two. weekend. Yeah. I like it. Tuesday or whatever. Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday. Is anybody going to be out on Friday the 22nd? Maybe. We could say no, but maybe. Are you going to be up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, because maybe. if... Depends how I feel. If, no, no, the reason being is because... Uh, no, like, we need to travel. Now we can do it on Thursday, that Thursday the 21st. But I don't want to go there. So Why not? You're going. So this is going to be better. So you don't have fun. Just to simplify the process, we'll just put it in the chat who wants to participate, right? And then we'll we'll, we'll schedule back. it for a day. We'll, we'll schedule the drawing tomorrow. Oh yeah. So, so this well, way we have no, a little bit. It'll, it'll be easier if it's white elephant. Oh, white elephant. White elephant is easier. Yeah, easier. put your name in by, let's say by Friday, by tomorrow. Put your name in there. Oh yeah. Well, it's kind of hard if we don't have a date. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, so, so the so date. date. If I can tell you yes, and then yeah. Yeah. that's true. What if? Can we just start? <laughs> yes, I say, what about Thursday? No, that's fine. Twenty first. Thursday the twenty first. Thursday the twenty first sounds good. Thursday the twenty first. Thursday the twenty first. Adam, day before the last day of school. Just on the twenty first. And then we should be an easy one. Right. 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 And what time? It, it, it's twenty eight. Oh, just oh. Seven to nine. Niche. No, no. This eight to twelve. I, I think seven is a good cutoff time, you know. But that's just tough. No, we need to be determined. Meet at seven. So twenty first. The twenty first. Twenty first is good. Alan Favors, say hi. Did y'all decide on a place? What's What's the uh, limit on the on the gift? gift? Uh, the price limit? Also, thirty limit. We usually 20 do bucks, like 20, 20, 20 to 30, right? 20 small. 20 to 30. So it used to be 20, but inflation. Dang. All right. <laughs> 25 to 30. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. Is Lori invited or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Carol. Carol. Anyone in the math chat? Okay. Lori is 25. Oh, she's not in there. What did she put her in? She's not in there. Good day, Rabbi. Lori, you can go. 21st. But late at night, after seven or before seven? I think cutting it off at seven is my style. I think it's before seven. I would like to end it at seven. Yeah. This guy's got to drive. Like 5.30 to seven is cool. 5.30 to seven is fine. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. actually, we get out at 4. We go start early, right? Yeah, we go straight five. Or something. Like, started at 5. Well, well, 5, like, like, yeah. yeah. Huh? But the so we can say, yeah, yeah, but that's the 30 minutes. Remember, yeah. there is like 20 minutes. Yeah, we can cool. get around the five, but officially start at 30. 5.30, yeah, and then just um, exchange and then meal. 5 to 7. Yeah, 5 to 7. 5 to 7. We'll start with that. Yeah, it'll end up being 5 to 7. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then which location? I've never been to either. I'm like, I've never been to either. Are these restaurants? Oh, I believe they are. They're some kind of restaurant. I don't know. Those are just options from Facebook. Yeah, they're just options. Yeah, they are. 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 Or something like that. We can go to That's Romero's house. Or... <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, Mr. Romero's house, is that the one you're offering? You're offering yours? Yeah, you're offering yours? He is offering Okay, all right, we'll, we'll end it there. Thank you guys. Okay, and nice. the 21st it is 25 bucks. Sorry. 530. Yeah, I'll throw it in the group chat.